going on people? Another beautiful day here in America. Today is July 21st, 2016. Beautiful Thursday. Uh, Alright guys, so it's official as of uh, midnight last night. Uh, it is now illegal for all Massachusetts uh, residents and gun shops and any type of uh, FFL dealers to sell any type of semi-automatic rifles, specifically AR-15, uh, any type of variants of that, or quote, I don't know what the fuck, it was like quote unquote like variants of war, or copies or duplicates, and also uh, AK-47 variants as well. Uh, now they obviously didn't touch anything about shotguns. Um, I just heard about it yesterday. So take it with a grain of salt, what I'm telling you. Um, I want to see if I can leave a description at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the video here. You can go and check it out for yourself. But uh, yeah, it's pretty disturbing that Massachusetts now you cannot buy any type of rifle, basically. Um, that's fucked up. I mean, I thought California was bad where, you know, you had like a capacity limitations in the magazines and you got like this uh, bullet button supposedly where you can't, I don't, I don't really know, but you can't like use your thumb to, uh, to release the magazine if it's a detachable magazine or something, you have to use like a, like a ring or something or some shit to like, uh, to release the magazine, I don't know. That's all fucked up over there in California, I'm not even gonna get into that. But lo and behold, the, uh, the Attorney General of Massachusetts yesterday basically made it law where it is unlawful to purchase any rifles, AR-15, AK-47 variants, uh, because they are like copies of, of these uh, quote-unquote weapons of war or whatever the fuck. Um, and I believe there was like a couple of uh, gun shops they were trying to make a mad dash before that deadline they were actually they were literally like some of them were like literally open until midnight last night so they can make that extra couple of sales like lower you know receivers anything that basically you got to register um, you know you got to do your 4473 uh, your Nix application you can't do them anymore I'm assuming handguns are all right uh, shotguns might be all right but uh, majority of people do know that, uh, you know, once they ban something, you know, registration and confiscation, you know, it's pretty much right around the corner. So, uh, I heard a couple days ago also that uh, Honda, uh, their motorcycle division is actually going to be discontinuing uh, the production of the 600RR motorcycle because of uh, supposedly uh, EU emissions and also like possibly poor sales or something like that. It's like one of the two, but I'm pretty sure it's like with the uh, the emissions regulation, they're not going to be able to, you know, to, to put more, to invest more money into the, to the motorcycle to, to change it so it can be compliant. But uh, yeah, I heard that a couple days ago. Like it's it's most likely going to be affecting uh, the European Union uh, because of you know they they have like that that whole block of countries there where you know whatever the EU says, you know everyone's got to pretty much abide to it kind of sucks you know like you can't really control your own country I guess like you know like with that um, all the refugees and everything like that like you know you need to abide by whatever you know the Union says Yeah, um, 
I don't know how it's going to affect sales here in the US or Canada or Australia or basically everywhere other than the European Union but uh, it's pretty sad because uh, I am on a fucking 2005 Honda 600RR um, yeah I mean I, I've never really planned on getting another bike anytime soon um, even if I did even if I did if I considered getting a second bike, it probably wouldn't be a 600RR. Um, I actually have thought about getting like a, like a Naked or, you know, maybe like one of those like a, hell, even a Honda Grom. Or like the, uh, the new Kawasaki Z125. Uh, I believe it's new for this year. Uh, Kawasaki Z125 2017 model, I think it is. Uh, basically, they've seen Honda uh, doing great sales with the Grom, so uh, they want to, you know, kind of get into that market. Mm, smell burgers. Smells really good. But uh, yeah, maybe getting something small. Obviously, not going to be able to uh, to go on the highway, but that's all right. I got a truck and I got a trailer if I need to to travel it around, tow it around. But uh, yeah, just something like, you know, something fun, you know, small little monkey bike to, to dick around with. So anyways, back to Massachusetts, aka Taxachusetts. Um, pretty upset about that. Um, I don't have uh, an L, I don't have like whatever they freaking have over there to, uh, to purchase or to own. Uh, firearms like you need like a uh, FID firearms identification card um, I believe you probably need extensive um, obviously background checks and education uh, certification um, and then you got to apply for like your license to carry it's like an LTC or something so I don't even know if you need an LTC to even purchase and own a firearm but from what I've heard from people who actually do live in mass um, that I've been talking to in a group chat like you need an LTC in order to transfer a firearm so um, I'm not really sure about that but it's just like way too much shit to really you know kind of dig into you know what I mean so yeah it's pretty sad pretty upsetting unfortunately but you know it is what it is uh, it's just way too much power for the Attorney General and the, even the governor, man. It's kind of messed up, so... Nope, smell some, some weed there. Someone's smelling that, smoking that medical marijuana. It's pretty distinctive smell, too. It's not that hard to differentiate from you know flowers and roses or whatever driving Miss Daisy yay yay Beautiful day, uh, blue skies, very little amount of clouds. Um, it's actually not too bad outside right now. I want to say like in the high 70s, so it's pretty decent. I grab some lunch, get some coffee. I grab some coffee time. close to the dump truck it's, that shit smells much respect to those guys who work who work uh, waste management though it's definitely not a pretty job or should I say yeah, it's definitely not an elegant job good job on high-vis bro 
yellow backpack, hunt orange socks and uh, shorts. No planes today. I think I've uh, flew under the airport when a plane was landing only once, but I wasn't, uh, I didn't have my battery for my GoPro turned on, so I was kind of a bummer. But it's loud, and it's a little windy too. Just a, just a little windy. That on video, that was a little bit fucked up. I don't know if, uh, let me see if I got that on video. Yeah, I got that on video. You go to YouTube, lady. Why, is she hitting on me or something? I don't know.